We want to get right to a breaking traffic alert on FM 2920. A major accident has all lanes blocked at Bridgestone, and we know at least one person has died here. Let's check in right now with ABC 13's TJ Parker. TJ? Yes, Amika, just an awful scene here at FM 2920. You can see the uh, truck involved here in this crash at Bridgestone. It's on its side there in the middle of the road. Uh, Precinct 4 Constable deputies out here investigating the circumstances surrounding this crash. We're still working to get that information. But deputies on scene say yes, that unfortunately one person did die in this crash involving two cars here at FM 2920 at Bridgestone, where all the lanes, as you can see, are blocked off right now. Traffic is being rerouted around this. So if you are taking this route this morning, do seek an alternate route. In spring, I'm TJ Parker, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Thank you, TJ. Also breaking what might be the first real test of the reopening rules right here in Texas. A nightclub in the Galleria area closed early this morning after they reopened as a restaurant at midnight. ABC 13 reporter Jeff Ealing spoke to police who were called to Club Onyx on Bering and Richmond overnight. Jeff? Good morning to you, Samika. Yeah, the club owner decided to close down rather than face criminal charges. But as you said, this is an adult entertainment facility. But today it opened as a restaurant. The police got involved, the DA got involved, and the club eventually closed down. But the fight goes on. It's just a question of where the boundaries are. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a novel for us. It's just because of the, the situation where we are with the uh, executive order from the state and the county. So yeah, there there is some question of, of where we're at. Um, I, I, it does say it's a club, so that, that kind of gives us our first clue. The owner of Club Onyx says he was following rules set aside for restaurants to reopen. He was only operating at 25% capacity. The entertainers were wearing masks. All the customers bought food, so he figured it was okay to open. The club has permits to serve food as well as a license to operate as a sexually oriented business. When the DA said it would accept a misdemeanor charge against the owner for reopening, the club closed. But again, the fight goes on. I guess tomorrow night I'll be dressed for jail instead of uh, talking to you guys uh, just in case. Uh, because I, I just think they're wrong. Uh, excuse me. They're using uh, some crazy deal uh, of how we registered with the state, registered our business with the state instead of looking at our actual permits. The owner says other businesses that serve food were allowed to stay open, so why not here? He says that's a question his attorney will start to answer later this morning. Reporting live, Jeff Eland, ABC 13, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Jeff. Well, retail stores, restaurants, movie theaters all can open today as long as they keep the customer base under 25%. Texas is now one of 32 states easing restrictions by the end of next week, and more restrictions will be loosened in the next two weeks by the governor as we reopen more. We have team coverage of what you can expect if you're going out this weekend. So let's start with ABC 13 reporter Charlie Etsidi at a restaurant in the Heights. Charlie, good morning. Hey, good morning to you. We're out here at Common Bond where preps are underway for them to open up their dining rooms at 8 o'clock this morning. They say this was not an easy decision for them to make. They had to take into consideration the safety and health of their staff as well as customers. So many changes you're going to see starting here on the floor. These social distancing stickers right over here at the cash register, hand sanitizer, and over here, lots of cleaning supplies. They're fully stocked, single-use condiments, no more bottles on the table, and of course, lots of disposable items like menus. And here's a complete list of guidelines that restaurants must follow in order to keep customers safe. Hand sanitizer at the top of the list, that must be available. Tables of no more than six people. Here at Common Bond, they're lessening that to four people. And you still can get the condiments at your restaurants, but you must ask for them. No more bottles of ketchup on the table. That's, of course, to limit the spread of germs. Contactless payment is being encouraged. So if you have Apple Pay, be sure to set that up on your phone. That's a good option there. And it's really been a mixed bag of opinions about whether Texas is ready for this. We talked to a lot of people about this issue, and we also spoke to the executive chef here at Common Bond, who says they had a lot to consider with both customers and their staff before making the call to open back up. Can we've thought through the process of instead of people coming in our front door, we've now got a separate door that they're going to come in. We're going to uh, give them hand sanitizer the moment they walk in the door. We're going to require that they do um, wear face masks at least when they're walking through and ordering their food at the counter. And then once they get to the table, they can they can take it off and enjoy their meal. So. No, 
uh, I'll be kind of sticking to my quarantine schedule, which is mostly going to work and then grocery shopping as needed, but not trying to be out and social for a bit of time. I think it's a good thing, but I do think people need to be cautious and do it slowly so that we can sort of maybe readjust things if we need to. Yeah, I think it's reckless. I think it's reckless at this point in time until we have a true understanding of what we're dealing with and how it works and how it can be passed along. And you're going to see lots of reminders to social distance around the restaurant here at Common Bond. And the staff, they're getting their temperatures checked every single day before shift starts. All three locations going to be opening back up at 8 o'clock this morning. They're asking customers to wear their face mask when they're inside of the restaurant. That goes for staff members as well. And it's important to note if you're not comfortable yet to come back inside of the restaurant and dine in, curbside and delivery is still available. In the Heights, Charlie Edsity, ABC 13. I would have snows. Good point on that curbside there. All right, well, when retail reopens today, so will a lot of malls. Our team coverage continues this morning with Catherine Whaley. And Catherine, shoppers can expect to see some new rules. That's right. Well, before the pandemic hit, mall traffic was already declining. And now with additional social distancing measures, things like food courts are becoming less appealing to shoppers. So malls are doubling down on cleanliness. Simon Property Group, the largest mall owner in the U.S., is opening many of its properties today, including the Galleria, Katie Mills Mall, and Houston Premium Outlets in Cyprus. They outlined their cleaning strategies online, something we expect to see at many malls. The first thing you may notice while shopping today, the number of entrances will be restricted, and they do not want more than one person per 50 square feet of space. Food court seating will be limited and spaced in a way to encourage social distancing. And in restrooms, every other sink and urine will be taped off. Also look for signs on walls or on the ground reminding shoppers to stay safe and social distance. Cleaning crews will focus on touch point areas like restrooms, seats, handrails, doorknobs and handles. One mall operator in Nebraska said this. Eight weeks ago is going to be totally different. It's going to happen today. The, the consumers got to be ready for it. The employees got to be retrained. They got to be ready for it. Retailers will determine how that in-store experience works for you. And it will also be up to stores on whether they open, even if the overall mall is open. Macy's CEO says 68 of their stores will reopen beginning Monday, and they will have all of their stores open in the next six weeks. And mall hours are also being limited to allow staff to do some more disinfection. And if you have been sick, you're being encouraged to stay home. Malls are also encouraging you to take your temperature before you go to the mall. And we're continuing to update our mall protocols online at abc13.com. Alita, we'll send it back to you. I know a lot of people are looking ahead to the forecast. Yeah, Catherine, Friday is going to be fantastic. Low humidity day. And then we start seeing those changes getting warmer for the weekend. This morning, starting off in the upper 50s to low 60s should warm around 80 one by noontime 87 at three o'clock and then slowly dropping off. I think we add some clouds as well for this evening. Now we are seeing some higher levels of pollution. So an ozone pollution watch is in effect for Harris, Galveston and Brazoria County. I know many of you are looking forward to heading down toward Galveston and spending some time there on the waters. Your Bowdoin Beach forecast is actually looking pretty nice. South winds 10 to 15 knots. That's going to take us into the weekend as well. Very similar conditions. A slight chop around the bay golf waves anywhere between two to three feet with those surf temperatures in the mid 70s. The weekend is showing some milder conditions as that golf breeze gets cranking. So will our temperatures and the humidity. It is going to st st uh, feel very sticky, especially as you get into the afternoon hours. We've got breezy conditions on Saturday nearing those records come Sunday as that heat ridge builds. It should peak Monday and Tuesday with those heat index values in the upper 90s nearing the century mark and then that heat ridge back off. We've got a trough digging in that's going to send a cold front in our way and that's going to help break our stretch of 90 degree days. Scattered showers and storms as early as Wednesday and then drying out Thursday and Friday. All right, and that's all the time we have for the news this morning. We hope you have a great weekend. Yes, it'll be a great day down at Galveston, social distancing, but have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, everybody.